Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. Ciao, I'm Paolo Laboa. And today on Ciao Italia, the cooking of Liguria with Chef Paolo at Solo Italiano. There's a hidden treasure in the heart of downtown Portland, Maine. Solo Italiano. The lucky patrons eating here tonight can enjoy choosing from a menu filled with classic Ligurian dishes. Thanks to the hardworking staff in the front of the house and the back. And it's here where you can find executive chef and restaurant owner Paolo Laboa, hard at work. For Paolo, it's more than just cooking. It's sharing what he makes with his happy customers. Today, he's sharing some of his favorite Ligurian recipes with us. So Chef Paolo, what are we going to make with this flour? He's uh, uh, doing it for pansotti. Okay. So it's very traditional from Liguria. Mm -hmm. eh? Do this dough with just a double zero flour, okay. eggs, vino bianco, white yeah, wine, yeah. Mm -hmm. eh? sometimes even a touch of parmigiano inside the dough. Okay, this is a traditional filled pasta, like a ravioli, right? Yeah. It's like a, this is a Ligurian ravioli, a traditional Ligurian ravioli. Pansotti, Pansot. means Pansot. from panza, panza. Yeah. From la panza, from little belly. belly. Yeah, from exactly. belly, okay, which means that these ravioli are gonna be really filled, right? Yeah, like very filling. filled. Okay, yeah. so you use the whole egg, not all just eggs. the egg yolk or all, the all egg eggs. white. Some places in Italy, you know, yeah. they only yeah. use. You're right, it's not 100% because in Italy, we uh, make everything different town to yes, town. Yes. And everybody said, uh, ah, this mine is better. No, mm -hmm. this mine is better. But it's an Italian way. You right. Know? Ligurian cooking is, uh, you know, it's about sharing. It's the American people, they love experience, they love history. Mm -hmm. Right. They love, right. you know, this recipe, they so hold. There's always a story with a, a recipe, story. right? Yeah, okay, always. so let's go with this now. Okay. So we've got the eggs. What yeah, they do, yeah. they mix you break a up bit. the eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the you hand. may not use all this flour either, right? You no. may not use it all. We'll, we'll yeah. see. And with this, you're going to add some salt. Do you add salt at all? I don't. I don't salt it because uh -huh. uh, what I do, if you put enough salt on the um, on the water, yes, you don't need it. You don't need it because mm -hmm. uh, the the pasta absorb all the salt. Right. So when you're cooking it, you can add the salt to the boiling water. All right. So now you've added wine. Yes. And, uh, now this is typical wine from Liguria. Is a, a, the, usually in Liguria you have a Vermentino, a Vermentino whatever, yeah. or Cinque Terre, whatever, yeah. whatever is Pigato, whatever is. Uh, I tell you the truth. In the home, you have a leftover for the night. You, you can know, use it. You can, you can use, use it. it. Yes. You know. Okay. But this. Uh, so instead of water, you use wine. Yeah. Okay. The wine gives it this uh, smell, this oh, profumo. Oh yes, it's, it really has a nice grapey smell. And uh, yeah. also. Uh, la pasta rimane al dente mm -hmm. uh, okay. when you cook mm -hmm. and silky. Mm -hmm. uh, now I put this, uh, like that. And that's enough. And now yeah. that's enough. And I can use the other hand. Now, do you add cheese to the pasta dough at all? A, a little bit of parmigiano now. Okay, good. Look. Parmigiano Reggiano. Parmigiano Remember, Reggiano that's always. a cow's milk cheese from the uh, region of Emilia Romagna. So you add just a little bit of yeah. the cheese. You know, mm -hmm. uh, what, what is good about Italy, and uh, also uh, so here, but every, everybody has his own specialty things. In Emilia Romagna, they special for the Parmigiano Reggiano. Right. Is, uh, you know, is the best. It's an artisan cheese, and yeah. it's like this. This is an artisan pasta, yeah. right? All right, is that the right consistency, or are you going to add more? Yeah. Mm, almost. Okay. What I do, I do a little bit. Mm -hmm. I help myself, yeah. mm -hmm. like this. Yeah. And the uh, leftover flour is a, uh, doesn't really matter, it helped me to... When you roll out the yeah. pasta, you yeah. can use, sieve it and use yeah. uh, that yeah. extra flour on your board. Yeah. Well, that's starting to look good. Yeah. So how did you learn to cook, Chef? So the first time I, I was uh, really in the kitchen with my mother, mm -hmm. and I love cooking. Yeah. And I love stay in the kitchen, mm -hmm. stay in the kitchen. I love it. Even my father said, go to play soccer. What are you doing here? <laughs> Always in the kitchen. You know, as an Italian old man, right. you know yeah, what right. I mean? He said, what's wrong with you? You were a mamone. <laughs> yeah, mamone. <laughs> vai, a, vai, a, vai a giocare. Right. You know? So you didn't want to play soccer, but you did want to I be cook. a chef. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you stayed in the kitchen. You learned all these secrets from your mother, right? Yeah. 
Well, she obviously taught you well because yeah. you, you're, it's all in the hands, as you say. Yeah, and go go. Yeah. So now, go. after you make this dough, yeah. you're going to let it rest, right? Yes. Okay. This is important. Yeah. And important because uh, you, uh, you know, the dough when it rests, uh, also all the activity about the wine and all the ingredient, mm -hmm. they start to breaking down. Yeah. So yeah. the gluten breaking down. Yes, the gluten so that make it easier to roll. Yes, yeah. So that's why also, you know, if you do it in the right way, mm -hmm. the pasta is very is light. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's yes. Very, it's less heavy in your stomach mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, if you look like this now, mm -hmm. when I rest, it's gonna be. It'll get softer. It get softer. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we should put a towel over that, right, yeah. and rest it. Okay. So while this is resting, yes. why don't we make the filling? Yes, perfetto. Spinaci. Spinaci. You've got uh, bietole, beet si. greens, yeah. beet tops. You could use what, Swiss chards? Swiss chards, yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we call bietole, but actually it's chards. Yeah, chards, yeah, charts. okay. Yeah. Charts. And you've got borage, which yeah. is an herb. Exactly. And if you couldn't find borage, you could use some other... Uh, other herb. herbs. So you can use dandelion. You can dandelion use Dandelion greens. You know. Yeah. And uh, maybe if you use dandelion, it's a little more bitter yeah. in a way. You can use a little, balance it with a little more spinach. Right. Well, see, that's, that's where the mind of a chef comes in. Yeah. Right? You have to do the balancing thing. The balancing. And then this is the marjorana. Marjorana. Yeah. So this is it, right? Marjoram. Okay. Yes, that is uh, what it looks like. Marjoram is right. uh, the same family of the oregano. Yeah. A little more mild in yeah. a way, mm -hmm. in a smell. But sometimes yeah. they use too much, it's even bitter. Yes. And uh, this is a chopped. Now sometimes the panzotti can have like seven different oh, yes. ingredients, the, exactly. right? Exactly. We call yeah. we call actually this in a Genovese dialect where I'm from. We call preboujon. 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 Okay, so that means so all of this. All these kind of herbs yeah. you can find, you know, okay. wild borage, chard, okay. uh, spinach. So then you've got some ricotta. ricotta. Okay. Buonissima ricotta, buonissima. All right. uh, ricotta is very fresh, you yep. know, and nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. Sea salt. Okay. A touch of garlic. All right. So you put all this together and yeah. we have filling, right? Yes. So. The filling here. Yes. So here's you know, the, the filling. Okay. You know, it looks like, like this. It smells very nice. Yeah. I'm sorry you don't smell. <laughs> well, <laughs> about so it, I can smell it. It's really, yeah, yeah very, exactly. very fragrant. Okay. So now we're ready to, to work with the dough again, right? Yes. Okay. We're ready to go with the dough again. What I do now with this. Uh, with a spoon, I look at the consistency. You want it fairly dry, right? Fairly dry, yeah, yeah. that's very important. Because, uh, you know, when uh, it's a too watering, what's happened during the, when you fill the pasta, yeah. maybe, you know, you don't cook the pasta right away, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. sink yes, the water in yes, the dough, yeah. and they blow, uh, they, uh, they finish for the Do you add rice. any olive oil to this? No. No, In this, okay. no. Just as, uh, like, uh, what it is. I, now, a little more parmigiano, yeah. for sure, it can mm -hmm, smell, mm -hmm. a little more salt. Yeah, so keep the, do, keep the filling fairly dry. Eccoli. Okay, it looks great. Yeah, can I taste it? Prego. Yeah. Tell me if you need some more salt or something. Nope, perfetto. Okay. Just like that, got enough salt, got salt from the cheese, good. So Paolo, how do you know when the dough is ready? Do you have a do you have a little test that you you do? Yes, you know, it has to feel silky, yeah. all uniform like this. Yeah, no, 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 it's good. It's because good, now yeah. it rests. After yeah. the rest uh, is and even the color is yeah, different than different. before. Brown, yeah, exactly. Yeah, because uh, all the ingredients start to work together. Mm -hmm. But now, if you feel the pasta is. Uh, yeah, it's nice. It's see. nice. It's ready to go and into I, the machine. I, the, the more we do it, we work like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You, you give the body. Yes, yes. Okay, so that's that looks like it's ready, huh? Yeah, it's ready. Okay. It's ready. All right. So now. Now what I do yeah. with this uh, cutter, I cut like that. Uh huh. And if you have a a, a hand crank pasta machine at you home, can you, can, you can use. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can do this. Yes. And I, I not too a, much because we don't no, want to no, make no. it dry, right? No, no, no. no. A little bit. Mattarello. Un po' di mattarello, qua ci vuole. <laughs> si, si. Ecco qua. Mm -hmm. See how nice that rolls out because the, it is the gluten has relaxed enough for him to do that. If yeah. the gluten 
isn't relaxed, that dough would just spring back to yeah, you and exactly. have it very difficult for you to roll. Exactly. So it's important so, to let it rest for 30 exactly. minutes or so. Beautiful. So what I do now, yeah. I mean, we're yeah. going to switch. Permesso, okay. signore, con permesso. Look at this machina. This machina. Questa è una macchina. Ah, grande, sì, sì, sì. Una macchina grande. Questa è la Monferrina. Yeah, so it's a Monferrina a pasta machine. Yeah. And this is what's going to thin down this dough. Yeah. So you put it in several times, right? Yeah, and need to feel, yes, she has to be tender enough to be yeah. endable. How much pasta like this do you make for the restaurant on a daily basis? Oh, mamma mia, a mamma lot, mia. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry, signora. No, no, no. Every day. So every day we make every day because we decide. Depend also the farmer and everything. Depend what we have. Yes. Not available. Mm -hmm. and we decide what we make. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how thin do you want this? Really, really thin, but not we too thin, thin that the filling will fall out. No, exactly. You yeah. know, this is still too thick. Mm -hmm. you can yeah. Right. Right. It is too thick. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go down. Okay. Like that. You'll see we don't use any egg wash and nothing. Yeah, yeah. Because sometimes, you know, use the egg wash, make the pasta too thick. Yes. In the, in the closing part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that's why you, mm, beautiful. you feel like it. I think it's nice. Okay. It's nice because also when we do now the pansotti, mm -hmm. when we do the pansotti, we can even stretch a little bit. A more. little bit, yes, because it yeah. is very stretchy, yeah. very stretchy. All right, so now you even it off a little yeah, bit. Even. Yeah. Try. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I like to be even precise, but also... You want it to be homemade. In the brava. In the yeah. meantime, nothing has to be yeah. too precise. Right. You know, the, if you see a beautiful tree, it looks amazing, beautiful, yeah. but the leaves, they're all different. Yeah. Right, right. So by, the, by saying that, of course, it tells you all this pasta made by hand. Each one is individual because it's yeah. made by hand. It's not a machine. Exactly. Perfect pasta. Exactly. What I so do, I try to do little squares. a little square. Mm -hmm. I tell you, they, they look not all the same. Uh, yeah, they're all different sizes, but that's okay. But eventually, we're going to fold this like a triangle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what do we do? Okay. We do a, a little pa the pansotti. They yeah. have to look like a pansotti. Mm -hmm. We put the filling yeah. inside. See, every chef has their way of doing this. Me. I would have taken and made all little balls out of that first and then plopped them all onto the pasta. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, uh, you can do whatever you yeah, are comfortable, yeah. you know. So that's just enough filling for this, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And you see how nice and dry that filling is. Mm. Now the whole idea of the filling comes from whatever was available at the time, Bravo, right? Exactly. Whatever the, your Nona went out to the fields and out on the road or she yeah. saw wild dandelions or whatever. Oh, she picked those things and they, that's how this happens. Yeah. This became It's very a important. You know, it, also, uh, cucina is beautiful in the flavor and in, in everything, but uh, the Nona, uh, the Mama, yeah. they all think about nutrition. Yes, yes. Because uh, we survive sickness, we survive, uh, we survive through a lot of events. Mm -hmm. With the food. Mm -hmm. Food is a medicine. Is what we eat. Mm -hmm. So it's very yeah. important. Yeah. Well, that's why the Mediterranean diet is to be admired and to be followed, right? Yeah. It's very important. And I put my finger like this, mm -hmm. and I do ecco qua il panzotto. Ecco qua il panzotto, okay. Brava, signora. Perfetto. Okay. Can I get a job here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, okay. usually we start to go a little faster because you don't want to dry. My, the, the pasta, actually, right. they can very, very good. But you know, if this pasta was too dry, we couldn't make no, those can't. little, uh, no. we couldn't f close these ends no. at all. You, uh, you have to push very hard mm -hmm. here. You, you, you want know. to get the air out. Too. Brava, You know, exactly. you want to get that air out of there. But you see when they said that, like you said before, oh, the pasta is very, very heavy. No, they transparent. A lot of, and you keep going like this. Yes, you keep going, keep going. <laughs> you know, also a long time ago, nonna, mama, they stay, in, uh, zia, yeah. they stay on the table, mm -hmm. they're talking about something, yeah. and they continue to work. So you should really cook them uh, as soon as you've got them all yes. ready, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Now, now they're ready, and uh, we're going to go to cook. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to cook, and yeah. I'm going to present the, the, 
Well, before you cook them, yes. we should talk about the, the sauce. sauce. Yes, it's very important. Okay. You're right, Siona. Allora, Paolo, tu hai fatto questo pane. Si, si. pane, si, si, si. Okay, so he made this bread, and this is going to be part of the filling for si. the panzotti. So si. what else goes into it? So, uh, bread, yep. the inside of the bread, mm -hmm. we soak in a little bit of milk. Okay. We put, a, we put very simply, you put in a cup. Yeah, and you put, add like the milk. This. Yeah, and then you just, you just soak, soak this yeah. until it's, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so that gets soaked, and then yeah. you break it up. And you little, break it up, you know, pieces. and stay like this, nice. And, and this uh, you save yeah. for pan gratati. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bravo. Okay. All right. <laughs> Walnuts. Mm -hmm. uh, California, they're very good. Okay. Walnuts. Yeah. And uh, marjoram. Marjoram again. Again, okay. a little good. bit. Yeah. yeah. For recall, this inside the filling all together does very, very good yeah. flavor. Uh, uh, garlic. Yeah. A little bit. Salt. Mm -hmm. Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay. Extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so this is uh, una, un crudo. Sì. Salsa è una salsa cruda. Cruda, sì. okay. E praticamente okay. è una salsa cruda. Assurda so, um, we, uh, long time ago, they used this, the mortar. Yes, and I know you are the champion. Yes, yes we, of we making pesto, the we, worldwide yeah, champion pesto yeah, maker, yeah, by the way. The, the recipe of my mama, yeah. Wow, that's so, quite an accomplishment. Yeah. Gracias, Signora. Thank you very much. We do um, by the mortar a long time ago, yeah. but today you can use the blender. The food process. The food process. Okay. So uh, what you, you're doing, you put the walnuts, the walnuts, yeah. the, garlic. the garlic, extra virgin olive oil. Okay. Eh? You quanto basta? Quanto basta. Okay, yeah. For okay. emulsifies all together. So it's a sa sauce. Yeah. Saucy. Yeah. 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 And a, a touch of margarine, okay. the salt, in the end, the bread. Yeah. The bread uh, soak uh, in the milk, mm -hmm. you know, when it's very mm -hmm. yeah. like this. Yeah. So give the consistency to the, to the sauce, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and the creaminess at the same time. Yeah. Because uh, you squeeze the milk, but not too much, yeah. you know. Yeah. And if actually, if you need a little bit of the milk for make the sauce, mm -hmm. you add a little bit. This you is know, very you clever. Very yeah. clever to use bread for this sauce. Yeah. You know, instead of something like a cream yeah. or, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. Clever. We use a good uh, milk uh -huh. and everything. And in the end, in the very end, a little Parmigiano. Because okay. if you use the machine, yeah. you don't want to, uh, the Parmigiano cook. Because sometimes, yeah. you know, the machine, they're very powerful. Yes. You know, could so you put the, you could put the Parmigiano in at the end. In the right? end, Just if you yeah. want it, it's actually yeah. better. And wow. that is uh, practically what it look like the sauce when it's done. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a, in a white pesto. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. We always, uh, when you want to store the sauce, for example, you make this morning for tonight, yeah. you put a couple of little extra virgin olive oil on top. Mm -hmm. So preserve everything. Yeah, right, right. You know, I give actually a good So you flavor. could actually make this ahead, put it in the refrigerator yeah. with a film of si. olive oil over the top. How long will it last? Woo, um, signora. Couple weeks? Oh, see. Si. All right, For okay, sure. wonderful, okay. All right, so now we're going to make the torta salata. Si. All right, which is, means a savory tart pie, two crusted. Yeah. And now this dough is a lot different than the pasta dough that we just worked with. Si. The dough is uh, just a very simple, made with the flour, uh, water, yeah. and uh, a pinch of salt, yeah. and some oil. Okay. So the typical filling for this is going to be what? That, uh, for to, uh, today, the typical filling is uh, like a chard, mm -hmm. a ricotta, uh -huh. and uh, one uh, special, uh, it's not like a ricotta, it's a caglio, quagliata, uh -huh. we call prescinceur in Genovese. Yes, okay. Which if, is you don't, if you don't have that, and it's very hard to, to find. find here, yeah. we use a little bit of yogurt, yogurt. mixed with the ricotta, oh. because uh, this uh, kind of acidity mm -hmm. makes uh, the particular mm -hmm. filling. And you're, you're just using your fists now. You're yeah. not using your fingers. This is like making pizza dough in the yeah, south, exactly. right? Look at how that's stretched out. Really, really beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. 
ecco qua mm -hmm. se wash e put a little bit of ricotta mm -hmm. and the beauty of this is this goes in raw that's the yeah, charred you don't yeah. cook ahead of time no there is a 50 gram of flour here a little okay. bit of flour so because they what's happened that the, the char when they cook they make a water yeah mm -hmm. so you know the yogurt the yogurt yeah wow that's good yeah, you make salt. un po' di sale no il sale sì okay. sempre yeah oh you put a little yogurt a little in the bottom mm. oh that's good so yeah does this little cap uh-huh I seal here like this, uh -huh. and yeah. I do like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's going to puff up a little bit. Yep. Yeah. 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 Seal, seal, seal. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go around with my thing yeah. like this. Uh -huh. Hey. I start to do like this. And you just pinch it close. Pinch yeah. it close mm -hmm. and I take with me a little bit. Because yeah. uh, if, when, if it becomes too much, mm -hmm. I take it off. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to have uh, a sexy dough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry for my English sometimes. <laughs> Go with the weather. How long will this cook? This is like a, depend how good is your oven, but uh, uh, 350 degrees, mm -hmm. so you're going to cook it like uh, in, in 20 minutes. If it uh, becomes too cold, I go down the temperature. Uh -huh. I have to give the time to the charts to cook. Mm -hmm. And I finish with it. Okay. Looks like the top of the Duomo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you have the brush, you do the brush, or yeah. you can do it uh -huh. very gentle. Very, very gently. Super gentle. Yeah. Super gentle, like this. Mm -hmm. It's actually funny if you Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a balloon. Yes. Paolo. Si. I know this is Stoccafiso and Stocca it's Fiso. very different from Bacala. Very different. What's yeah. the difference? So the uh, the difference is how they, they cure. Yeah. Okay, is uh, unsalted. Mm -hmm. Practically they fish in actually this fish uh, during the very cold weather. Yeah. February, um, January, they, uh, there is ice on top of the sea. Mm -hmm. And they fish this fish, so it's very clean, no warm inside, nothing. Mm -hmm. They take off the heads and they inside, they left for a week in the sea water and after they hanging on the beach for uh, three months. To dry. To dry. Mm -hmm. It become very dry. Yeah. It's, it's almost harmful. It's a piece of wood. It's hard to believe that this becomes, becomes this, this. Yes. when you rehydrate it. Exactly. Well, that will be a wonderful dish to try and you can yes. find the recipe for it on ciaoitalia.com. But you know what? Now it's time to eat. Yes, buon appetito a tutti, signora. Sì. I'm going to be hungry. <laughs> Chef Paolo, you do your Genovese heritage very well. Thank oh. you. Signora, Thank grazie you. mille. Thank you very much. Let's grazie. tell everybody about these classic dishes. Okay, questi sono i pansotti della right. riviera di, uh, di Levante, so pansotti di Recco. Mm -hmm. eh? Questa è la torta di bietole, torta la genovese. Di bietole, eh? yeah. E lo stoccafisso, che we call accomodato. Okay, and the stoccafisso. Stoccafisso accomodato. So all of these are beautiful. The panzotti, which is like a ravioli, of course, with those bitter greens, you can use any kind of filling you want. Very healthy torta salata. And of course, the stoccafisso, the fish stew in umido. In umido, brava signora, sì. Chef, thank you so much for signora, inviting me to Solo Italiano. Cin cin. Cin cin. And until I see you nella cucina again, I'm Mariana Esposito. La boa Paolo. Ciao. Ciao.